everyone, welcome back to The Local Loop. I'm Joy Metalios. I'm Lily Christensen. We've had some great closings yeah, we already. Have. We've had 11 closings in our first quarter. Yep. So, uh, But we wanted to discuss today when you're getting ready for closing as a seller, what you need to do to prepare. And so we've actually prepared a whole checklist of things that you need to do. Um, you know, obviously some of the things are obvious, like yep. change all your utilities, uh, discontinue your newspaper or your mail, things mm -hmm. like that, the big stuff. What are some things that some people might not think of? Electric fence. Oh, if yeah. you have a dog, if you're a dog person, you can take the electric control panel out of your garage or out of your mudroom and just take the whole panel with you, along with the collars, of course. But, you know, if your new home has a fence, an electric fence that's already underground, it can connect directly to that. Right. Or you need a new fence, but, yeah. You know, and it's good to take that point. I always like to say that you should also try to clean up the yard and clean yeah. up all the poop mm, because you yeah. want the new owner to be happy in their new yard. Exactly. And yeah, you don't want to leave anything like that yeah. behind. You also want to make sure that you call your dry cleaning company mm -hmm. if they're mm -hmm. delivering your clothes because mm -hmm. otherwise you're going to be like my a clothes? disaster. Yeah. My dress, like whatever. Yeah. Or your Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. you know, any online shopping that you do because I've had packages go to the same yeah. address for, yeah. And then give us. You know your forwarding address so if that does happen and if you're out of state we can we can get that to you yeah. so let's talk about walkthroughs because okay. the day of the closing is you know stressful everybody's like on edge a little nervous right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Excited. and typically owners do stay there the night before mm -hmm. so we want to make sure it is cleaned out 100 percent right mm -hmm. ready to go for the new yeah new buyers yeah the new owners yeah like last we, we, we found shampoo and toothpaste. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like the new buyer doesn't want that. No, right? no. <laughs> but there are some things that maybe the new buyer would want or wouldn't want. Mm -hmm. Like we also found paint cans and that's something that you should ask. Like maybe the, right. new, the new people do want it so they can touch up. Sometimes they don't. Um, but paint's a hard thing to get rid of. So that's something you'll want to double check on. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And never assume that someone wants yeah. your stuff. Or like wood. That. Yeah, sometimes yes. wood, you know, leftover tiles. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes they just don't want it. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you know, you maybe think that that's something that, you know, would be very useful or they would want, but that's something you should always, again, ask. Yeah. Or firewood. Oh, right? and even firewood, not yeah. even just like, you know, hardwood, firewood too. Yeah. I think people yeah. want it, but you never know. You never know. You want to make sure the refrigerator, the oven is clean. You want them to open it up and just have a good feeling, not like... Seen Leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it all. Yeah. So please leave the fridge and the freezer empty unless yeah. you're going to leave champagne for the new buyer. Yeah. <laughs> or for us. Basically, you want to leave it the way that you would want, want it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So that's it for our episode of The Local Loop. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you next time. Thank Bye. You.